Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we are going to learn how to troubleshoot logging into Sandbox. If you get an incorrect username and password error when you log into a Sandbox environment, make sure you are using the correct password for instances such as CS1, CS2, etc. Keep in mind that usernames and passwords may differ after a sandbox is refreshed. If you still cannot log in, these are the four ways to troubleshoot logging into sandbox before contacting support. If your web browser has saved your login information from before the last sandbox refresh, your login attempts will likely fail. So the first solution Clear your browser's cache, cookies, and save passwords. Then restart your browser to make sure that all old information is deleted. Be sure to check the save password and alter it if needed. Solution 2 There are instances where the generic login URL for sandboxes, http colon forward slash forward slash test.salesforce.com should specify the instance where your sandbox resides. To find that instance, log into the production org and click on the gear icon. Click on setup. Type sandbox in the quick find box. Click sandboxes. Locate the sandbox org, and next to it is the location. For this screencast, the location of the sandbox I want to log into is CS1. I will open a new browser window, change the login URL for the sandbox from http colon forward slash forward slash test.salesforce.com to http colon forward slash forward slash cs1.salesforce.com. The number you will use is the number where your sandbox is located. Solution 3. If the sandbox org has my domain enabled and has the login policy set to prevent login from HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash test dot salesforce dot com then users would need to use the my domain URL to log in. Ask the system administrator who has access what the domain is and alter the URL. In this screencast the domain is usage 78. Therefore the URL will be h t t P S colon forward slash forward slash usage seventy eight dash dash dev sand dot lightning dot force dot com. If you want users to use https colon forward slash forward slash test dot salesforce dot com even with the domain, then there is a setting to alter in the sandbox. Log into the sandbox. Click on the gear icon. Click setup. Type domain in the quick find box. Click on my domain. Make sure the permission prevent login from https colon forward slash forward slash test.salesforce.com is disabled. Solution 4. Sandbox email addresses are appended with a dot invalid at the end. If you are resetting the password for a user, please be sure the user email address is updated first. In order to change the email address, go to the user record, update the email address, and remove dot invalid at the end.
Please keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you will need assistance from a system administrator. If you have further issues, please work with your system administrator or contact Salesforce support. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.